Howdy, my friends. I got a surprise for y'all. It is almost 11 o'clock p.m. here. So, you friends in America, y'all probably asleep already. Your, our friends in other parts of the world gets to see this before y'all do. That's kind of different. But y'all, I hadn't done anything, hadn't shared anything with you lately from the book of Psalms. And I just decided to do that. So bam, here we go. We've read the first 20 chapters in the book of Psalms together. And I'm going to try to do 10 more. I'm doing 10. I did the first 10 and then the next 10. And I'm going to try to do 10 more right now, starting with Psalm 21. And the most famous Psalm, or one of the three most famous Psalms, is going to be in this bunch tonight, and it is a good one. It is a good prayer for us to pray often, and we'll talk about that more when we get to it. I love y'all. All right, here we go. Psalm 21. The king shall joy in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation how greatly shall he rejoice. Thou hast given, this is a psalm of David, by the way, that's why he said, the king shall joy in thy strength. He's talking about himself, the king. Thou hast given him his heart's desire and hast not withholden the request of his lips, Selah. For thou preventest him with the blessings of goodness. Thou settest a crown of pure gold on his head. And I done lost my place here. Oh, there's where I am. He asked life of thee, and thou gavest it him, even length of days, forever and ever. His glory is great, and thy salvation, honor, and majesty hast thou laid upon him. For thou hast made him most blessed forever. Thou hast made him exceeding glad with thy countenance. For the king trusteth in the Lord. And through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Bam! Thine hand shall find out all thine enemies. Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee, thou shalt make them as a fierce oven in the time of thine anger. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. And that is true, y'all, but we need to try to get those people saved. They may be our enemies. We may not like them, but we need to get them saved or try to get them saved. Their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. Therefore shalt thou make them turn their back when thou shalt make ready thine arrows upon thy strings against the face of them. Be thou exalted, Lord, in thine own strength. So will we sing and praise thy power. May my God, uh, Psalm 22, also a Psalm of David. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me and from my words of my roaring? Well, this is kind of a different song than the one we just read. <laughs> oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not. And in the night season... And am not 
silent. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted, and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee, and were delivered. They trusted in thee, and were not confounded. But I am a worm, and no man, a reproach of men, and despised of the people. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip. They shake the head, saying, He trusted on the Lord that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. But thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my God from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have compassed me, strong bulls of Basham have beset me round. They gaped upon me with their mouths as a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue cleaveth to my jaws. And thou hast brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me, they pierced my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones, they look and stare at me. They part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. But be not thou far from me, O Lord. O my strength, haste thee to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth. For thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. I will declare thy name unto my brethren, in the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All ye, the seed of Jacob, glorify him, and fear him, all ye, the seed of Israel. For he hath not despised, nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, neither hath he hid his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard. My praise shall be of thee in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear him. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord that seek him. Your heart shall live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord, and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he is the governor among the nations. All they that be fat upon earth shall eat and worship. All that they, all they that go down to the dust shall bow before him, and none can keep alive his own soul. A seed shall serve him, it shall be accounted to the Lord 
for a generation. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness unto a people that shall be born, that he hath done this. And now for Psalm 23, or the 23rd Psalm as a lot of people call it. Also a Psalm of David. Also a very good prayer that we could pray every day. And I do pray it often. It and the Lord's Prayer. Listen to this, y'all. And I'm not a teacher, I'm not a preacher, but just listen to this. This is good. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That means he's going to take care of all of our needs. We will have no need because God, the Lord, is going to take care of them. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul, and only he can restore our soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. And if we're not on a path of righteousness, it's because we got off of the path of righteousness. Because a path of righteousness is where God wants us to be. It is where he commands us to be. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. When we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we have no reason to fear the evil because, as it says, for thou art with me. Thou, talking about God. For thou, my Lord, God, art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever because it has no end because it is our eternity. Hang on a minute. My eyes are still messing up. I got dry eyes and I don't know if this problem I got now is part of that or what. I've never had it this bad before, but they're driving me crazy the last few days. Psalm 24, another Psalm of David. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord the righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. 
Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Bam, y'all. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Psalm 25, unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. That's the only person we need to be lifting our soul up to, because only the Lord can protect it and keep it for all eternity. O oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me. For thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions, According to the, thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will I teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy on me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. Look upon mine affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. Consider mine enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with a cruel hatred. O oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee, O oh Lord. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O oh God, out of his troubles. And that's all I'm going to do, y'all. I, I thought I'd do 10 like I've been doing, but I'm just going to do five. 
and that last verse, redeem, redeem Israel, O God, out of his troubles. God is going to redeem them. I don't understand God's ways. You know, look at how Israel has treated him forever. But God loves them. They are his chosen people. That is his chosen country. And he is going to redeem them in supernatural ways during the tribulation, during the war of Armageddon. And many of the Jews will come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior during that tribulation period. It's going to be pretty awesome. It's just a shame that they have rejected him for 2,000 years. But they have. They think they're getting ready to meet the awaited Messiah. They're getting to ready to meet the Antichrist, but they'll find out who the real Messiah is before too long. Friends, that's it for tonight. I love y'all. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and if there's any of my American friends still awake, y'all have a wonderful evening. S sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite and all that good stuff. And I'll probably be up another hour or two. I have a lot to do. I always have a lot to do. Being single, you always have a lot to do. And it's not the fun stuff. It's the cleaning the floors and cleaning the toilet and doing the laundry and doing the dusting and cooking the meals and washing the dishes and making up the bed and changing the sheets on the bed and all of that kind of fun stuff. <laughs> and in the springtime, I even get to do all the yard work. And sometime I hadn't done it since I moved up here, but before I moved up here, I changed the oil in my truck and did all kind of stuff. I get to do it all, y'all. If it wasn't so close to the time of the rapture, I might look for another wife, wife number five. Back in Texas, that's how many were allowed, five. And I was trying, I almost, I almost had number five, but I chickened out. First time in my life, I chickened out. I'm glad I did. Anyway, y'all, that's it for now. That was some BAM good stuff. It's all good, y'all. God bless you. I love y'all. And I'll talk to y'all in a few hours if the rapture doesn't happen tonight. And I tell you what, every night when I go to bed, I pray for the rapture. So it may happen. One of these days, God's going to listen to me. Actually, God had that day planned before I was even a twinkle in my mom and dad's eye. So I got nothing to do with it, but I do pray for it anyway. I'm looking forward to it. I don't want to die. I want to get raptured out of here. That's going to be exciting. I always liked adrenaline rushes. I think that'll be the maximum adrenaline rush that I ever had. All right. I'm just flapping my jaws. I'll let y'all go. God bless you. Talk to y'all in a few hours. If we're still here, if not, I'll talk to y'all up yonder. <laughs>